Healing. It's an essential skill present in any survival game, and in Ark, losing a precious tame is permanent. It's no doubt a pain that we've all felt before, so when it comes to staving off death and ways we can go about restoring a creature's health, we do have a few options. What the f all creatures heal themselves over time, but this process can be sped up. On carnivores, and the first method you become familiar with pretty quick is to force feed them raw meat. In the case of the Baryonyx, remember to bring a supply of raw fish for them brief healing sessions. Out of combat, it gives back 5 health points per piece of raw meat consumed, and it's a huge part of what balances herbivores and carnivores in this game. Herbivores can be healed through the use of sweet veggie cakes. It restores roughly 10% of their health over a 30 second period. Only one veggie cake can be consumed every 30 seconds, but it can allow a herbivore to soak some extra damage, and in some cases make them perfectly viable guardian defeaters, with the right loadout. The wild plant species Z is another option for healing. Just standing in its vicinity will roughly heal for 4,800 hit points per minute. It's common on Aberration, a map in particular designed in a way where the creatures drop less meat the further down you go. I do recommend when on Aberration, always play close attention to your closest plant species Z, and it'll always help to keep some meat back for a quick time out. The Deodon is still the most effective passive healing creature in the game, but it's largely used to heal creatures after boss fights and out of combat. Rapidly depleting its food stat at the cost of using this ability, and although the food type makes no difference to how effective the heal is, I personally like to think of the Deodon's food stat as a mana pool. The higher the creature's food stat, the longer it can heal for. With one raw meat equal to five food, and basic, simple and regular kibble at the highest return. An extra tip which I have shared before is going out of render distance for a second and returning. It only works if all players are out of render, so it's not a PvP exploit, but a small time saver should everyone be out of render distance. The Snow Owl, which I keep my fingers crossed, remains in the final release of Fjordor, heals a dino for 2400 HP per minute, a great option. It comes at the cost of the Snow Owl's stamina, so having some extra food on the Snow Owl when healing will speed this process up. It also grants a byproduct that has other uses we'll go over in a future video, but the Snow Owl can help you get back into the fight, leading me to the final way to heal your creatures. The Tech Phase Pistol. It was introduced with the addition of Genesis Part 2, requiring a level 118 survivor to both wield and craft this weapon. It's not easy to get hold of, but it's by far the most overpowered way to heal a creature fast. It comes at the cost of element, which depletes a lot quicker now than in its first week of release, but as we show in this example, an average trike with a primitive saddle can soak damage from two turrets indefinitely. The Triceratop naturally takes reduced damage to the head, so focusing the turret's fire on the trike's front is ample enough time to get some C4 down and do some serious damage in PvP. As always, please do leave your thoughts and comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and a big thank you and shout out to my patrons for your kind continued support. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.